guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of the Magical Revolution of the G- Nope. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> fucked it up. Of the Reincarnated Princess and the <laughs> genius young lady. This is gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Context, please. You're the only one. You're automatically next in line, regardless. Who would have thought our child from Butcher the Rock is a fucking queen? Well, going to be a fucking queen. <laughs> Our psychedelic baby. But they go make it a part of their business, baby, because they love you. Y'all gonna do something, right? Well... Mm -hmm. 
my opinion, but you know, okay, go ahead, you do you, baby. Right. Oh, I thought she was going to slap her. Mm -hmm. See, she's continuously avoiding. Stop avoiding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be a date. We all know that, yes. Oh, look at them. They hold me hands, too. Stop it. Cute. Okay, the wife.
Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> They're coming at a bad time. Bye. Gotta be a little honest here, though. She won't be able to see them every day. she won't be able to do it anymore.
What about? Mm hmm. There we go. Huh. Stop beating around the bush. Be strong. Yes, unfortunately, but we got to stay strong about that. There we go. Finally. And who the hell is she? So ten, and we now introduce some even more new characters. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. No, I think she has business with you, not your father. Boom, there you go. Because we could have consequences with this. It's like a curse. Right, so I felt like this is going to be the girl. Remember how in the first two episodes that I talked about when we were talking about the characters and everything, and Yuffie was going to be turned into this creature at times, and then of course because of that, Honest is the only one who's going to be able to bring her back into human form. I, I feel like she also has something to do with that, especially when, she, you know, you make a deal with her. Because there has to be some kind of like price with that think about like anybody in any typical anime heck we can put in a disney movie any other type of movies and such where they say oh hey i'm this if you do this if you make a deal with me you get to have whatever the fuck you want not realizing there's a price to pay when you make this deal with me and they don't know that until after they make the deal or right, that's why you know once again, at the end of the day, I ain't going to be like Ariel. I'm going to be like, yes, I am going to exchange my tail for some freaking legs so I can go for, like find a man. But I get to lose my voice at the same time, too. And then if we, if we look at the darker version of it, yeah, you had to kill your man in order for you to, mm, yeah, not good. No! I would have been like, yeah, nah. Once you know the context of something after... You wish that you could take that back. But once you say yes, once you shake that hand and that contract is sealed, you can't take that shit back. And so whatever this story that she's going to tell, and I'm guessing it has to be about her, it, it'll probably be a little deal breaker for Yuffie, but something still tells me she's going to say yes. I don't know. It, it, it's just Yuffie. When I look at her... And because she loves Honest so freaking much. And she does not want Honest to be next in the throne. She wants Honest to be able to go out into the town, see the townspeople, hang out with them for the day, be able to go anywhere with very little guards hounding her. Because as a queen, you have all these responsibilities, all these duties, paperwork, it's like that. It is, it's a full-time freaking job. And you will never have time to do the things that you really truly love that's why slowly but surely you can see throwing away things and even though it pains her she has to put on this fake smile this mask aka this new version of her in order for her to be like okay this 
this is what it's going to be like for the rest of my days up until I die. And yeah, I would have honestly thought she would have adopted someone and be like, okay, this is my kid. Let my kid be next in line and then let me have some more free time with my little harem of girlfriends and then let me be queen. I, I even would have thought that her father would have been like, I'll let you be queen. I'll let you go out and still do the things that you want to do, but you still need to make time for your queenly duties, your responsibilities, the, excuse me, um, the balance of your kingdom and such. And heck, I'll even let you have Yuffie as your wife. Because he, he knows, Yuffie's dad knows, hell everybody knows that these two are in love with each other, even though, like, slowly but surely we have not said it, said it yet, but it's very obvious. And then also what the fact is that Yuffie has finally said that she is, she loves her and such. I would have expected her father being like, yeah, you can have all this, but this is, you're, you're still getting the life that you want, but you're also getting the responsibilities of becoming a queen but i do feel bad for her in this moment because it's not truly what she wants but because her brother is now out of the picture she is automatically next in line she automatically has to do it there is no ifs ands buts in between this some game of thrones type shit you know i, I never once again thought i would go back into the game of thrones fucking thing and yet here we are here we fucking are like oh my god yeah, well, thank God. No, well, no, I'm 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 speaking a little too soon because yeah, Alec kind of really wanted to kill her brother, um, I mean her sister, and, and Anna technically wanted to kill her brother. So yeah, Game of Thrones, <laughs> anime version. I mean, this I feel like this is still more Vinland Saga in a way, even though I have not seen that show, nor I probably will never see that show. But yeah, I'm really excited to see this story next week, how it's going to end. Of course, it's going to end sadly because, mm. but yeah, got nothing else to say about that. But like, I, I really, truly with like what the last, what, two or three weeks that we have with this show left, that this show ends on a happy note that Honest is able to do what she wants to do because she is our main character. She is my psychedelic queen regardless and, and let her have a happy ending let her be with yuffie let it be okay and let her find somebody else to be queen she doesn't she's not ready find somebody else that's fucking all other than that guys that is my action view towards episode 10 of the magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want. I join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 11. Bye, guys.